Hey, how's it going you guys? So in today's video, I want to show you guys how to remove the watermarks from your grad images pictures and also how to download them. So if you're like me, basically the day of your graduation, you were pretty excited. You were walking down the stage. Uh, there was a photographer taking pictures of you. And once the photographer was done taking pics, uh, you asked the photographer, hey, so um, how do I get the pictures? What do I do now? Like, you know, what is the procedure? You know, I want to get them. I want to see them. And all the photographer said was, you'll get an email, you know, and because you were so excited, because you were in that moment, we were like, okay, whatever. I mean, I guess, you know, you just walked away. But uh, when you had a chance to like actually look at your phone um, or, or go home and look at your inbox and your email, you notice that you didn't get anything. And this was, this was probably the case for like a week. You know, it was like a week until like I got an email from the grad images uh, site saying that here are my images and I can look at them now. So I went inside the, the website and I was looking at them. I was like, whoa, like I really like these pictures, but um, I realized that now I got to pay a hundred bucks just to download them. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to save those hundred bucks, uh, especially now and during these COVID times. I'm pretty sure you guys want to spend it in something else. So the very first thing you want to do is once you click on that link that was given to you in that email to land in the grad images uh, website that's that's personalized to you, basically the one that has your pictures on it. What you want to do is hit the control and the U key at the same time. So hold control and U. And it's going to take you to the view source page. If you try doing it like the old school way of like right clicking in the actual page, it won't let you. I'm pretty sure that they probably figured it out and they locked it up, but you know, there, there's ways around everything, right? So again, it's you hold the control key, you hold the U key, and uh, you just let them go. So now once you're here at the view source page, what you wanna do is look for the find function. Now I'm using Chrome, so in my situation, all I gotta do is go over here, Click on find or do control F and then type in J P G and then followed by a question mark. So again, it's J P G question mark. Why am I doing this? Why is it J P G question mark? Well, the reason why is because the image that was taken of you is actually associated with this extension. Okay. I'm going to prove it right now. So the very first option that comes up is not the one you're looking for. Most likely is the next one. How do I know which one is the correct image or which one is the one that I'm looking for? Well, you'll know by looking at the alt equals. So as you can see right here in the alt equals, I see a description saying ceremony portrait, right? And it has a link next to it. This link is the image associated with this description. This is a case for all six pics or all the pictures that were taken with grad images. Click on that link. Once you come here, you'll notice that your water image picture shows up and it has a different URL. I want you guys to pay attention to this part of the URL, the very last part, the one that says preset equals a T. What you want to do is remove that T, backspace, okay? Remove it. Leave everything else as is. Don't change anything else. Just remove that T. Type in any other alphabet letter you can think of. That's not a T. So in this case, I'm going to type in R. Hit enter. Okay. And as you can see right here, the watermark is gone. Okay. The watermark is gone. And, um, well, you can't really see it. But in your situation, when you try it, you'll see that the watermark is gone. If it's not, then I want you to hit. Uh, give me a comment in the, the comment box and I will answer it. All right. So do a right click in the image. Do the option save image as. Type in whatever you want to type in for the name of the file or the image. I'm going to type in uh, whatever. Again, hit save. And voila, you saved it. You got it. All right. So I'm going to do it for the next. Uh, image I got so you guys get like you know have it uh, stuck in your head so I'm gonna do next 
I see the description again, alt equals. Now it's close up, right? I have the image right here, the associated image. Hit it, click on it, and go on the top, get rid of that T, everything else as is. Type in any other letter except the T, E, hit enter, no watermark, right click on the save image as. So right click on that image, do save image as. Type in whatever name you want to name it, doesn't matter, as long as it's valid, save it, boom. All right, so I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please hit that like button, please subscribe. Um, if I get a decent response, I will upload more videos like this or in other videos of other topics. All I want to see is if like I got a, a decent chance of being a YouTuber or not, all right? So I uh, hope you guys have a good one and, and thanks for watching.